Hello mga kabayan! It's another video tayo today and long time no see kasi nakikita tayo hindi nakikita ng video but um, today uh, since tayo ay inuulan ng maraming messages then um, let's um, answer your questions one by one so sinulat ko yung mga um, questions ninyo and yung mga concerns ninyo about sa pagpunta dito sa Russia so let's get started! Alright, so since paulit-ulit lang naman yung mga um, yung mga tanong ninyo and um, again, sinasuggest ko sa inyong lahat na um, hanapin niyo yung mga videos ko. Check niyo yung videos ko kasi um, some of your questions, I've already recorded it but since love na love ko kayo and since um, ayoko naman na na masayang yung effort niya sa pagme-message sa akin, then I'm going I'm still going to discuss about it. Alright, so number one questions, yung laging tinatanong sa akin, paano nga ba magpunta dito sa Russia for work? Okay, so niligay ko niya sa previous vlog ko, but just to give you an update, okay, um, well, uh, wala na yung, um, kapag sa, sa Pilipinas kayo magpa-process ng inyong papers, then your Russian agent will ask you to get um, a pustil, from DFA. Okay, so what you have, what you need to do is to go to your nearest DFA office branch. Okay, so may, uh, as far as I know, meron na yan sa mga, sa mga malls. Okay, and then apply for apostille. Isa lang yung maliit na paper. And then, um, I think makukuha nyo yun within one one week, I don't know how many days or weeks, but uh, kapag nakuha niyo na yun, then your your Russian agent will ask you to send it to Russia, okay? And then after that, kapag nas nasend niyo na yan, then um, ipaprocess ng inyong Russian agent ang inyong invitation at ang inyong FMS ID, okay? So without a postile, then um, your Russian agent cannot process your papers here in Russia. They cannot process your invitation and um, other necessary requirements. Kaya naman, um, I, I always advise everyone to talk to your agent, ask questions, wag po kayong mahihiyang magtanong sa agent ninyo kung anong purpose ng mga documents na kailangan ninyo na pinapakuha sa inyo. Alright, placement fee. Oh, okay, iba-iba yung singil ng placement fee ng mga agents at ng agency. So, better ask them, okay? Um, or, depende kung may employer na ka, may, kung may employer na kayo, then, um, you can ask uh, your employer about it kung magkano yun. Uh, of course, you have all the right to ask kasi, ka, kasi babayaran nyo naman yun. So, he, huwag kayong mahiya na magtanong, okay? Kasi, um, right natin yon, right nyo yun, um, to ask magkano nga ba yung mga, yung kailangan dapat bayaran, kasi ikakaltas nga naman yun sa sweldo natin. So, placement fee, I really have no idea, it really depends on the agent and the agency kung magkano ang isisingil sa inyo. Okay, another question na tinanong sa akin is about vacation. Um, uh, kay, kapag nakarating dito sa Russia and nakapag one year na kailan pwedeng magbakasyon okay usually okay um, after two years um, your employer will allow you to have a vacation okay um, yes um, after two years yun ang pagkakaalam ko but kung ang visa ninyo is different uh, then kailangan nyo mag exit okay yung visa na kailan, well, kailangan naman talagang exit yun. So, kailangan i-exit yun, then you have to go to, well, either Armenia. I think alam na yun ng maraming mga Pilipino dito sa Russia and dun sa mga ibang nakakaalam. Well, you have to exit, you have to exit, um, usually nag-exit ang mga Filipino sa, sa Armenia. And, um, just to remind you, okay, don't let your agent na sila ang mag-exit ng ng inyong visa on behalf of yours. Okay? No. It should be you kasi masisilip yan doon sa immigration. Um, kapag nakita nila na kasi magmamatch yung documents, yung, yung, yung pagpasok at saka yung sa visa. Okay? Kapag nakita nila na merong, merong glitch or merong mali doon sa pinakita nyong documents, then 
it's gonna be a very big problem. Kaya naman, make sure na kayo po mismo ang mag exit hindi po yung agent ninyo. Kasi maraming kaso po dito sa Russia na yung ibang Filipino, they let their agent exit their, their visa. Okay, and then, nung kailangan ulit nilang mag-exit, tapos sila na mismo yung mag-exit, pagdating dun sa immigration, naging questionable na. So, na A to A sila. Okay, so ganun yung mga kaso. Kaya naman, please, 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 lahat dun sa mga Pilipino um, na nandito, make time na i-exit nyo yung visa ninyo para walang ano, walang hassle, para hindi rin po... Uh, kayo magkaroon ng malaking problema kasi alam niyo naman po right of this moment na masyado nang mahigpit ang ang gobyerno dito sa uh, gusto na talaga nilang malinis yung mga yung mga walang papeles kaya doble ingat po tayo mga Pilipino dito Okay next um paid ba yung bakasyon uh, okay um, hindi ko alam <laughs> But, as far as I know, hindi po paid yung vacation ninyo. Especially kung kayo po ay stay out. Okay? So, kapag stay out po kayo, then of course, you have to pay for your own tickets. Lahat ng expenses ninyo, pag kayo ay magbabakasyon, shoulder po yun ninyo, hindi po ng employer ninyo. But, it's gonna be a different story kapag kayo po ay stay in. Yung employer po ninyo ang magbabayad ng inyong plane ticket back and forth at yung ibang mga papeles na kailangan ninyo, okay? But when it comes to salary, kung, kung paid ba yung vacation ninyo, I think hindi. Depende, again, depende po yun sa employer ninyo. Say for example, on my case, um, my employer, the last time I had a vacation, my employer paid my vacation. I had a one month vacation in the Philippines that time. And then, um, I was actually surprised kasi as far as I know, hindi naman talaga bayad yung vacation ko. But I was surprised when, when he messaged me and said that, uh, he sent already my money. So, binaya, so binayaran niya or pinadala, pinadala niya yung sweldo ko sa Pilipinas ng one month. So, so, depende po yan sa employer ninyo. You can ask your employer regarding that po. Okay, benefits. Uh, tinanong ko, anong klaseng benefits bang meron dito sa Russia? Yung tinatanong. Um, uh, well, wala po. O kapag dito po sa Russia, wala. Um, yung, yung uh, ano ba? Kapag uh, gusto niyo pong magbayad ng, ng benefits, yung kagaya ng SSS, Real Health, okay? Kayo na po mismo ang magbabayad nun. Hindi na po yung hindi na po yung employer ninyo. Uh, personally na po nating babayaran yun. You can ask your family or your relatives um, to pay on your behalf. Okay? Papadala nyo lang yung, yung amount na kailangan bayaran dun sa SSS and field health or whatsoever. So, hindi na po yun, um, hindi na po yun sakop ng employer ninyo. Um, ang alam, ang benefits lang na meron dito sa Russia is um, you have, uh, kapag stay out po kayo, um, after your work, you can find another job. You can do part-time jobs, okay, after your, after your work sa kanila. Or, if you have, or, yung day off ninyo, kung gusto nyo yung paring mag-earn ng money, then you can, uh, you can look for a part-time job. It's okay po, unless kompleto po yung papel ninyo. Meron po kayong, um, legal documents. Pero kung hindi naman po, better stay home. Okay, better stay home para hindi po tayo mahuli ng mga friends natin na pakalat-kalat dito sa Russia. So, yun po. Um, okay, another one. Um, last time meron akong kausap na Pilipino na um, she's in the Philippines and sabi niya na meron na siyang um, employer. So, I was very happy to, her for, to, to hear from her na meron na siyang employer. Kaya lang, hindi ko maintindihan. There's, there's something wrong about it. I don't know. I hope I am wrong. Um, yung employer is asking her to send $300 dun sa employer. So, I ask what's the purpose of um, the $300? Bakit kailangan magbayad ng Pilipina ng $300 dun sa, sa employer? Sabi nung um, sabi sa akin, it's it's for legality of documents. S hindi ko alam, hindi ko maintindihan, okay? Um, but, uh, just to clarify this, ha, 
ang employer ay hindi po mag-ask ng pera sa applicant. Hindi po. Why not? Kasi, um, ang employer po mismo ang makikipag-usap doon sa agent. Okay? So, this is, so, the employer will talk to the agent. Okay? And then, the employer will pay, um, will pay for the necessary um, documents na kailangang i-process ng agent. Okay? And then, the agent and the, the applicant ang mag-uusap po. Ganun po yun. Um, and then, um, and then, yung applicant, uh, ang hindi niya kailangan magpadala ng pera dito sa Russia. Kasi po, kung, kung ang applicant ay nasa Pilipinas, meron pong visa stamping sa Pilipinas. Ang Russian Embassy po ay nasa Makati. So, all you need to do is to get uh, is to wait for the documents na kailangan ninyo na ipapadala ng agent ninyo. Yung documents na kailangan ipadala ng agent ninyo ay yung invitation, yung apostille, and yung contract. I think contract, meron pa rin contract. Hindi nga lang siya nakaread ribbon. So, kapag meron na po kayo ng tatlo na yon, then ipapadala na po yun ng agent ninyo. And then, before po ang applicant ay pumunta sa Russian Embassy, First, kailangan pong magbayad ng aplikante sa uh, kumuha ng um, insurance, ng HIV, at ng OEC. Okay? So, meaning, lahat po ng babayaran nyo, ed sa Pilipinas. Okay? Hindi po dito sa Russia. Hindi po kailangan magpadala ng pera dito sa Russia. Okay? Um... Ganun po yung process. Ngayon, kapag meron na po, okay, so, kum, so naku, nakompleto na po ng aplikante lahat ng documents na kailangan, then the applicant can go to the Russian Embassy to for, for visa. Okay? Now, after two weeks na makuha ninyo yung visa ninyo, then you will let your agent know that yeah, I already have my visa. Okay. Then, that's the time the employer will buy ticket for you. Okay, ganun po yun. So, please, para dun po sa mga ibang Pilipino na naka-experience ng ganito or nakaka-experience ng ganito, um, as much as possible, huwag po kayong maglalabas ng pera hanggat uh, wala pong kayong nakikitang papel or wala po kayong mismong papel na nahahawakan. Pero, as, pero ganun po, hindi po talaga nyo kailangan magpadala ng pera dito sa, sa Russia. Okay? Uh, baka po mas kam kayo or maloko kayo kagaya ng mga ibang Pilipino. One example, okay? Bigyan ko kayo na example. Um, uh, merong mga Pilipino sa Hong Kong, okay? For example, sa Hong Kong, so meron silang nakilala na agent through online and then naglabas sila ng pera. Okay. I think nagbigay sila ng around 50,000 pesos. Okay, that's 1,000 USD. Okay, so wala pong papel. Few months had passed, pero wala pong papel. Then, when they message the agent, sinabi ng agent na may ganito, may hassle, ganyan, ganyan, blah, blah, blah. So, they need, sa, and the agent asked them to send money again para ma-process yung ibang documents na kailangan. So, yung ibang Pilipino nagpadala ng pera sa kanya. So, sa suma total, walang um, papel na na, na na ibigay yung agent at hindi na rin nila nahabol yung agent nila. Okay? So, kaya, I advise everyone um, maging, uh, maging very, very careful po tayo sa sa mga makakausap natin sa agent, wag po basta-basta maniniwala, okay? Kasi even ang mga Pilipino dito mismo sa Russia, naluloko sila ng kapwa Pilipino nila, okay? Kaya, uh, mag-doble-doble ingat po tayo, lalo na at malaking pera yung ilalabas natin, okay? So, be careful po. Kaya, uh, kaya, Kaya kapag may mga questions kayo or to those Filipinos na nakakapanood nitong video na, na, na ito, um, if you have questions, you can message me. I will leave my 
um, my info on the description box and I will really do my best to help you masagot yung mga tanong ninyo though minsan nalilate na talaga akong mag-answer ng questions ninyo kasi nga naman ang lola nyo ay pagod na pagod but I will do my best to answer your questions and um, yes, again for, for the last time please um, magtanong magtanong, mag-research magbasa, okay ask, wala pong mawawala kung kayo ay magtatanong okay Okay, so that's it for now. And then, I'll see you on my next video. Um, hindi ko alam kung anong i-discuss natin. But, um, sa lahat ng mga Pilipino natin sa ibang bansa, to all OFW workers all over the world, Merry, 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 Merry Christmas po sa inyong lahat. I know, um, hindi ganon kasaya yung um, Pasko sa ibang bansa. It's not really the same, kagaya sa Pilipinas. But, well, as you know, we're all doing this for our family. Um, so um, I wish everyone um, good health, um, success, lots of money to everyone, and um, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng viewers ko dun sa 600 plus viewers ko na um, nanunood. Maraming maraming salamat po um, for taking time um, watching this. I, I don't know if this really one helps you, but I really do hope so. So, thank you very much. Again, Merry Christmas. I'm Mini Badar. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe on my channel. Um, um, please like and share na rin. And um, better to click the bell button so that you can be updated every time I have a new video. So, thank you very much. Paka-paka.